CNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavendo with mid-afternoon update for TFNN. Boy, folks, it's a red day everywhere. We've got the N NASDAQ is up very slightly. The S&P is down. The Russell is down. The Dow Jones is down. The only other commodity that is up is live cattle, and it's been down for six days, so it's bouncing up just a little bit. So there's a lot of negativity in the markets today, not to be unexpected. Uh, I posted the chart of the NASDAQ today because uh, those of you that follow the magical 382 retracement, you'll know that it went up exactly to that level. And that's when the S&P was trading at uh, 4418, uh, and it's uh, about 10 handles under that right now. Whether that will continue or not, we'll wait and see. But we are oversold a little bit. Uh, we're down since Friday, so this is our third day down, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, our guest today, we're going to have Rich Anderson on to talk to us about the grains and oil seeds uh, at this first break. And then we're going to have Shane Smolian, the wolftrader.com, will be our guest showing the last part of the uh, trading day for us, and he'll be able to give us some really good indication. He's been extremely accurate on what's going on with this S&P and was saying that we were probably getting ready to see a pretty good correction. Well, three days correction in a bull market like this is certainly not very much, but at least it started down uh, in the right direction, the main thing. Also, we're getting very, very close, folks, to our long-term title uh, tra target in the gold market at uh, 1915 to 1905. We're at 1923. Uh, we've got silver just about ready to break that $22 level, and if we get that down about 2150, we've got Christmas Day written all over these trades. So we really want to be. Uh, following it very, very closely here. So if you get a chance, you know, stay tuned, and we'll have some really good trading information for you. Uh, the only position that we have on for our service today is the natural gas. It has a, a five-point profit in it. We have our stop at break-even, and so we're basically in a risk-free trade. We covered the short gold, and we covered the short S&P uh, for very nice profits, and now we're waiting to buy these grains. But It'll be down the road a little bit. So stay tuned here. We'll take, make a few commercials, and we'll be right back with Rich Anderson. Mm -hmm. 